today we're gonna play more Persona, but before that, uh, we're gonna watch a video that I've been wanting to watch for the entire duration of this weekend, to be honest with you. And it's such a good video for all of us to watch together. So I decided that I'm going to wait and have all of us watch. I do have to give a little spoiler alert as uh, as this video is spoilers to anyone who hasn't played Persona uh, 3 or Persona 3 Reload. Excuse me. Oh, now I'm hiccuping. Great. Awesome. I don't think that this just applies to Persona 3 Reload. This video is apparently about Persona 3 in general, and it is 103 obscure Persona 3 facts. It is uh, on the channel called John Awesome that, surprisingly enough, I have not uh, discovered yet. So we're gonna uh, we're gonna watch one of his videos. I I think his face is familiar to me, but I can't remember if I've seen any of uh, any of his videos before. So that's a little bit of a, a warm up today. Um, we're gonna we're gonna watch this. Uh, I I'm gonna be doing probably some commentary as well. Uh, but m more importantly, uh, I want to learn more about my favorite game, and I hope you'll enjoy it as well. Let me check the sound. Hopefully this is okay. Hey, Johnny here. And today we'll be counting down 103 Persona 3 facts in anticipation for P3 Reload. By no means the oldest Persona game, P3 still has a ton of accessory media and I combed every single bit of it to find the weirdest and craziest trivia I bet you've never heard of. Like honestly, if you leave this video learning nothing, I, I don't believe you. I'd consider myself like a pretty big fan of Persona 3, but no, I genuinely learned so much trivia while researching this video, and I think it's You're well excited. worth excited. Also, there will be some slight spoilers for this video, but nothing that you wouldn't see just from, you know, a normal trailer. So don't worry, I won't be going over the main story of the game. And with all that said, let's start this thing because there is a lot to get to. So let's begin with Persona 3 Portable, where two characters from P4 make an appearance during trips the protagonists take. In the male hero's journey, he crosses paths with Noriko. Wait, this is just from Portable? Was she in Reload? I actually can't remember her on the beach. She was not at the, at the beach in Persona 3 Reload, was she? Okashiwagi at the beach in Nakushima. And in the female hero route, if you join the tennis club, you will meet a young Yukiko Amagi. In Persona 3 FES, the hero can use every weapon type, excluding guns and knives. No and way. has unique animations for each weapon. During the Priestess Full Moon Shadow Fight, you can see a repurposed concept art for P3 in the train cabin disguised as an ad. In the fight against Elizabeth, her tarot cards contain the texture of the Persona Ananta. With well, that's the one thing that I didn't know that you can fight Elizabeth. Can you fight Elizabeth in Persona 3 Reload as well? I, 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 if it's a secret fight, I didn't know about it, but we have to do it then. One shrunken head. Speaking of shrunken heads, in Portable, when entering the Velvet Room as the male hero, with the persona Mara, upgrade, Mara Elizabeth will comment on how man <sighs> it's very manly oh god wait do I have Mara is is Mara in reload I don't know anymore it is what's playing is no 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 I've seen Mara I have seen Mara but I've seen Mara in other games so I've seen Mara in uh in Shin Megami Tensei and in some of the compendiums, but I don't know if I crafted it. Akira, welcome in, what's up? <laughs> and Dusty, welcome back as well. How are you doing? Why do you have that thing equipped? Says Theo. Who the fuck is Theo? I don't know anything about this game. I need more lore. Who's, who's played this game? As the female hero, Theodore will comment that the persona doesn't suit you. If you take Elizabeth's request number 79, you can visit the faculty office for an academic boost for a week that doesn't eat up time. Extremely helpful since academics is the stat that takes the most points to max out. In the Japanese version of P3 FES, the campaigns are titled Episode Yourself and Episode Igis, whilst abroad they're referred to as The Journey and The Answer. Makoto Yuki's weapon of choice in the Persona 3 movie, Excalibur, is extremely rare only appearing in golden chests in two specific floors of Monad. In addition, it shares its loot table with other items, further increasing its scarcity, making it one of the rarest items in the franchise. Introduced oh. in P3P, 
are new ending lines for players who complete the game on New Game Plus, featuring characters you form an intimate bond with. Junpei was also considered to appear here, but ended up being scrapped to Junpei already having a similar relationship with someone other than the protagonist. And the devs probably didn't want to make him look like a cheater. Akihiko and Igor are the only legacy characters to appear in P3's offshoot anime, Trinity Soul. If you use a cheating device to add the Persona the Universe to your repertoire, the navigators will scold you. Cheating, huh? I'm disappointed in Oh, wow. Oh, that Fuka voice. Oh, my God. You're cheating. I'll have to punish you. Yes, please. Japan has an exclusive version of FES. P3 Append Edition, allowing those who purchase vanilla P3 to receive the new FES editions at a discounted cost. The Japanese history teacher Mr. Ono is the sibling to the world history teacher Miss Sofu, who teaches you in Persona 4. The setting of P3's Tatsumi Port Island is based on Japan's real world Kobe Island. Both even feature an artificial island that houses some of the district schools. The reason fusion spells changed in Portable was due to the fact- I really like this video, but the video is going so fast, it's not really allowing me to, to process things. There were three evil people really present and one of them had a, a thing for Jupe. Yeah, I, rem I remember that. Was See, that's the thing. Like, I didn't get to process what he said. What, did he say that, um, uh, that- I don't know who had a thing. Yeah, I, yeah. So I don't know what he said. He said something along the lines of uh, Yukari having a thing for Junpei. Changed my life. Yeah, Yukari had a thing for Junpei, and Junpei said that he was in a relationship with someone else. Okay, okay. See, I have to like I don't want to interrupt the video too much, but I need time to process because he just talks very, very, very quickly. And I think I don't know. Maybe I'm just like missing subtitles or something island that houses some of the district schools. The reason fusion spells changed in Portable was due to the fact that the spell Armageddon ruined the game balance. To restore this balance, fusion spells were reworked into an item form. Oh in portable, shit. Limiting the frequency that Armageddon could be used. That's no right, way. Armageddon was so strong that every fusion spell had to suffer too. Both of Mitsuru's personas have an absent breastplate on their design, in reference to the theory that Amazons sever their own breasts to become better archers. The TV show quiz that airs in the dorm lobby, That's Who's cool. Who, references past Persona 1 and Persona 2 characters on their canon birthdays. Persona 2 is referenced again in the Hermit Social Link, the game Innocent Sin Online being a clear callback to the first half. But Persona 2 isn't an MMORPG. What's the actual name of the Persona 3 MMORPG? Of the P2 duology. And the screen names used by the hero and the hermit are also Tatsuya and Maya. This one I know. To past characters. This, however, is a localization change. In the Japanese version, the game they play is Devil Busters, a reference to a game inside of a game from Megami Tensei 2. And the characters are named after Nakajima and Yumiko from the Digital Devil story novels. And the answer, Igor makes a comment referencing his origins when converting. So Digital Devil Saga, is this something that is possible to be played on consoles nowadays? If I had a PS2 or what is it, a PS3 or something, if and if I was able to get a copy, would I be able to play a Digital Devil Saga? And would it be worth it? Because everyone's saying, Everyone's saying that these games are so good, and honestly, I'd be a little tempted. Emulator, I see. Yeah, now that I have the PC, maybe I could. Has Is there anyone in the chat who's played the Digital Level Saga? Person with Igus. This is going very fast. Share a similar destiny, possibly hinting on Igor's origins as a doll. The unnamed antique store woman has cut lines in the Japanese vanilla version, indicating she was intended to be a social I don't, point, I do know but her. was eventually scrapped. We also learn in old document number eight, the antique woman worked for the Kurijo group before opening up her store. Mm. Mr. Itogawa, the school nurse and integrated learning teacher, is based on an Atlas staff member, Shogo Isogai, who has written for and helped direct many other no games way. at Atlas, including Persona 3. Thanks to being infused with the items, Plumes of Dusk, Evokers, Igus, and Mitsuru's motorcycle can operate normally during the dark hour, while other technology cannot. Plumes of Dusk also are what gives anti-shadow weapons their personas. Igus has two of these Plumes of Dusk inside of her, in the shape of a butterfly, which is why she has what is called a palpian heart. Akiko appears in more Persona media than any other character due to spinoffs and being the sole character to return in Trinity Soul. Mitsuru's sword- What's tr Trinity Soul? What game is that? 
support from the Persona 3 movie isn't actually a weapon from the games, which is totally understandable because some of the P3 swords look kind of silly. In Aegis' first mission for mobile devices, we learn Aegis' ribbon was a gift from Yu Kimijima. In an odd coincidence, the original voice actor for the English P3 hero, Yuri Lowenthal, is married to the English voice actress for Elizabeth, Tara Platt. Oh, this is kind of similar to how the Japanese Aerith and, and Zack are married. Please correct me if I'm wrong. But I, lo I love these stories. So cute. And the Femsi's English voice actor, Laurie Bailey, is married to Theodore's original voice actor, Travis Willingham. The Plumes of Dusk are oh, called wow. Nick's Wings in P4's Arena Code, hinting toward their place of origin. Lineage 2 is hard to level up in? Nonsense! Let me show you Nonsense. how easy it is to get to level- It was revealed in an episode of Persona Stalker Club that Mitsuru's father, Takahiro Karijo, lost his eye when he was attacked by a shadow during a Tartarus investigation. Thanks to an oversight, you can skip the game's final boss if you initiate the Devil Social Link on the night of January 31st. How? The development staff of the original P3 believed it was impossible to max every social link in a single playthrough only later to be proven wrong once fans got their hands on the game and optimized oh the route. Mitsuru uses occasional English words in her speech in the Japanese version, opposed to French. <laughs> Did you know the little- But she's- Okay, so here she has to be on, but they didn't- This this wasn't a Japanese dialogue, was it? Guy inside Akihiko's persona, Caesar, is... Me! Telling you to subscribe. I make amazing Persona content. So funny. I have some killer videos for 2024 that I know you don't want to miss. So just do yourself a favor and, you know, subscribe. Don't put it off. Such don't a good idea. It. Come on. And no, this does not count towards the 103 facts. But but I am canonically inside of Caesar. That, that is me. I just want you to know that. The Femsi's hair clip has a double reference attached to it. It was purposely crafted to resemble the Roman numeral 22, because she was the 22nd arcana to be added to the game. And in tarot decks, the Fool can also be at the end of the deck, being the 22nd card. Also, the Femsi loves bananas, and has many dialogue options in-game involving them. This is canon. You cannot debate it. I guess his headphones are based on the Antikythera Mechanism, an ancient Greek analog computer that was used to predict solar eclipses. The intro movie of FES has a mistake. In the Attract Mode video, in it you can see that Junpei is fighting against the full moon Shadow of the Hermit. But in game, this just isn't possible. Speaking of Junpei, his victory pose shares a striking resemblance to John Travolta's from the American musical, My god, who is the mind that, that caught this moment and realized, who is, who is this person who sat there with that Leonardo DiCaprio meme pointing at the TV and was like, yes, this is Junpei, what the fuck? I'm so impressed by people. Honestly, it's it's actually it's actually insane how observant people are. I would have never never caught this. How wild is this? Saturday Night Fever. <laughs> Early concept art shows Ken's weapon of choice were darts and throwing weapons before deciding to give him a spear, as illustrated by the lowest quality JPEG. I swear to God, I couldn't find a better one. In the dorms vending machine, the item Cielo Mist can be purchased, a parody of Sierra Mist featuring Cielo from Atlas's Digital Devil Saga games. In Portable, social link characters may wander into Tartarus. If not saved, they die, ending the social link prematurely. These include Bunkichi Kitamura and Maiko Ohashi, Junpei's second awakening. So I remember I was told while I was playing through Persona 3 Reload, I was told that I absolutely need to be saving these people and I don't know if they kept the same mechanism. I don't think so, but I think I think there were some people in the chat who did play through uh, this version of the game where they thought that if uh, if the girl and the old couple, if they're not saved, that they're going to be killed because I remember being really on edge and really trying to save them as soon as possible because they did get stuck in Tartarus and, and reload as well. Trismegistus is holding a Philosopher's Stone in its mouth to reference Hermes Trismegistus being the pioneer of alchemy. Akihiko's second awakening, Caesar, wields a giant sword, 
yet he cannot learn any slash moves. Is, is he stupid? Like, does he know how a sword works? In the Persona 3 manga, the hero only uses three personas, Orpheus, Thanatos, and Messiah, the Gekko Khan High school emblem. I mean, to be fair, if you're using a Messiah, you probably don't need much else, do you? Trinity Soul is a side anime where the story is about three grieving brothers and a dark mystery about Persona users extracting other people's Persona, turning them inside out. Is that something that is available for me to watch? Where do I watch this? It doesn't have spoilers for the answer, does it? I can just watch it, right? Shares many similarities with the BMW automobile logo. After the game's opening days, if you refuse to go Tartarus for 10 entire days, Mitsuru will reprimand you for being so careless and force you to enter Tartarus and prevent you from leaving until sufficient progress has been no made. No shit. Did you know Messiah has an exclusive skill? The ever so gracefully named magic skill up is learned at level 98 in Portable. But actually, this skill exists in all other versions of P3, but was just dummied out for reasons unknown. Depending on which weapon Aegis has equipped, her battle lines change. In the side quest, I want to play 2 in PQ, the game pokes fun at the fact that... What is the console that PQ gets played on? The game looks very, very old. Like, I'm, I, am, I am a huge fan of Persona 3, but I don't know a lot of things because I've only just played it, so excuse all of my questions. But this looks like it's been a long time since, since this game. Theodore and Kanji look quite similar even comparing them to Long Lost Brothers. PQ also has an unused animation of Igus dancing like Cielo. This looks, now that Astrobot is out, do you know the, uh, do you know the little uh, Igus reference in Astrobot uh, where Igus is dancing like this? She has the, she has the same dance moves in the, uh, in the Astrobot if, if you find a reference. There's many clips now. This is so nice. From Digital Devil Saga. Likely used to test. Yeah, it looks like a handheld. P3 dancing tells us that the hero doesn't physically enter the Velvet Room, as his friends mentioned from their perspective that he's just staring off into space. P3 FES added a whopping 22. That would make sense that he's not entering the room, because that but that would mean technically that we are hallucinating a door, but at the same time, Igor did say that. It's a space that exists in your mind, in a way. So that would make complete sense. Two new personas to the game. These include Huapo, Hypixie, Yaxini, Shisa, Thoth, Alp, Kumban. No! This is so unfair! <laughs> Thought, this guy's so lucky! I have to work harder. <laughs> Mothman, Impusa, Rakshasa, Hecaton Kairos, Hellbiker, Ghoul, Yulunger, Pazuzu, Mara, Kartikia, Balzibo, Suparna, Hellel, Needhog, and Adavaka. While Persona 3 Portable added only four. Tomlin, Neko Shogun, Mokoi, and Satanta. Speaking of fours, the Reaper's total HP being 4,444 is a reference to the Japanese word for four, she, sounding similar to the word for death, shine, and is generally considered an unlucky number in Japan. Gekko Khan High features Greek architecture, like large pillars and stone gazebos to reference the game's Greek mythological origins. The Aeon Arcana is special in the sense that instead of originating from the Rider Waite tarot, like the other cards in the game, the Aeon suit is from the Thoth deck created by Aleister Crowley, British occultist and self-proclaimed the Beast 666. Self-proclaimed. Like but I don't think they had those back then. Right. Elizabeth's character design was based to resemble a 70s style elevator attendant, whilst her brother is intended to reflect the image of a hope. Where is Theo in Persona 3 Reload? Why why have I never met him? How do I unlock him? Is this something that's available to me? Who is this guy? Tell Bellboy. Koromaru is based off Hachiko, a real life dog with a similar story. Confusing enough, the real-life Hachiko is referenced in Persona 5, so we're, I guess a lot, there's a lot of loyal dogs out there. <laughs> Before settling for Theodore, the male Velvet Attendant, name candidates were Elio or Elliot. The blocks of P3's dungeon, Tartarus, are named after the Seven Heavens. 
Can't believe he's not in in reload. Why? Why would why wouldn't they put in something that already exists? Well, I I I guess that question really makes no sense when we think about the female character that everyone wants to. Uh, also, maybe meet him if he plays a FC FC <laughs> FMC. Yeah, I don't know. Like I feel like Persona Three Reload should have had all these things in Judaism. Whilst the levels in the answer are named after the circles of hell in Dante's Divine Comedy. Despite what you might think, Aegis is considered to be the official mascot of Persona 3, and not Koromaru. In an episode of Persona Stalkers Club, it said Shinjiro wears a coat even during the summertime due to the pills he takes preventing his body from regulating temperature properly. The spin-off novel, Shadow Cry, is written from the perspective of Strega's Jin and features events prior and during the game's story. Hey Nacho's family business from the first Persona has canonically merged with the Kurijo group as indicated by the game's glossary. Revealed by Igus in Persona Q, one of Yukari's hobbies is apparently enjoying fan fiction. Well, she's not doing that. When performing as the pink Phoenix Ranger, Yukari Takaba apparently does her own stunts, as we see in Persona 4 Ultimax. In the same game, we learn from the pre-battle quote that Junpei is apparently a Rizet fan. I can fight now. I'll show you. Uh, Reset? For real? <laughs> no way! The P3 Club book tells us that Kenamata Amazing. browses the website run by Persona 2's Balfu. The Shirt of Chivalry costume has a single kanji character on the back, which when translated reflects the character. Wait, how is he... How is he a Reset fan when Reset is from Persona 4? Does this mean that Reset has already existed? as an idea or as a character before Persona 3 came out? Odd. ...character who's wearing it. The MC's translates to Honorable Man, Junpei's translates to Tint of Color or Lust, which seems more appropriate. <laughs> Akihiko's translates to Hit, Ken's is Grudge, and Shinjiro says Life. I guess cannot be poisoned by shadows in the journey, but she can be in the answer. Philemon is the blue butterfly seen in the game's cinematics and cutscenes. Social links in P3 can become reversed or even broken. To reverse a social link, there's a few ways to go about it. One option is to ignore them for many days. Another is to pick a rude option during a social link. That can upset them too and reverse the link. Or you can double book on a day you plan to spend time with someone. That will. Would reversing mean losing one rank or losing everything? will also upset them. But to break a social link, you must be intimate with a character, but spend time with another boy or girl before finishing the link. The character will notice this behavior and confront you about it, and if you admit that things are over between you, yeah, the social link will break. With another boy or girl, so that means if even if you're spending time with male character, they will get upset at you? Or is he talking about um, the possibility of female character having male social links? forever and can no longer be continued. If you fight the secret boss before Fuka joins, she will still show up as the navigator. Who is that? I don't know, who are you? To help advertise the release of the Persona 3 movie at Joypolis Amusement Park, the Persona 3 escape room, Escape from the Dark Hour, was held. In collaboration with Rikyo Ski Park, the Persona 3 skis featuring Thanatos were sold for roughly $400, Jesus. which to this day remains the most expensive Persona 3 merchandise. In addition to understanding dogs like Koomaru, Igis can also understand the speech of monkeys, such as Ryuji. In PQ2, there is dummied out text that references the fan canon name for Femsi being Hamako. The initial release of the North American version of P3P had untranslated text for Yuko's 10th social link. In the comic anthology Tartarus Theater, Igis makes a disturbing face, mocking an unfortunate looking Cosmos figure from Xenosaga 2. In the same comic, it's revealed that Fuka's favorite luxury brand is Old Navy. P3's cutscenes were animated by Point Pictures, who also work on the opening sequences for Steins Gate. Akihiko's Japanese voice actor, Hikaru Midorikawa, was reportedly terrified of Polydeuces' appearance. For a good reason, look at it. <laughs> upon first seeing it. Persona 3 has a ton of mobile games, from Persona 3 EM, Broken Shadow, Aegis First Mission, and Persona 3 Escape. The male hero has amazing rapping skills. Sadly, the viewer can never hear them, as the medium where this is shown is the Persona 3 manga. Personas Eo and Penthlaseya have- 
Oh, so they did make a reference in it in Persona 3 Reload, at least, to where you go to karaoke and everyone's amazed, but you never hear it. Unused physical attack animations, which normally cannot be seen as they learn no physical attacks. In the anime, high attack- That looks a lot like Persona 4. They know Gotoku. A visual is found in the background for a department store featuring the clothing of Persona 3's party members. In Portable, Jin and Takaya receives buffs to their magic stat and damage output. Despite this, they still completely suck at Very much like In the four. arena games, when Elizabeth and her sister are shocked, they do not appear to have skeletons like other characters in the roster, indicating they may be boneless. One of Messiah's hard items can be the Omnipotent Orb, an accessory that blocks all sources of damage except Almighty. However, the chances of this are very, Jesus. very low. Messiah learning the skill Absorb Pierce can be a reference to Jesus Christ being pierced by an unnamed Roman soldier who stabbed him with a lance at his crucifixion. In the Magician Boss cutscene, an animation error exists where the hero has a cease armband despite not yet joining. The Femsi was given Naginadas as her what? signature weapon because the staff members found the idea of a girl wielding an oversized weapon to be cute. Also, according to series illustrator Shigenori Soijima, Orpheus F is still male, but just has long feminine hair. All the street names on the world map are written in French. For some reason. <laughs> Shout out to Claire de Lune Road. Despite claiming to do her best, I guess his grades are below average, as seen at school on October 19th. Isn't she like AI? Can, can, does she not have access to like all information? I was out of pocket. I'm sorry. I, I got a D2. I'm just projecting. When picking a dog breed to make Koromaru, the staff at one point considered a Dalmatian. Jin's persona Hypnos wears a sleeping mask. No, I wouldn't like that. Dalmatians, honestly, uh, people glorify them, but in real life, Dalmatians are assholes. Mask. A reference to him being the personification of sleep. In FES, Jin's Arcana is inaccurately labeled as Fortune, when it should be the Hermit during the Moonlight Bridge boss fight. And this last one could technically be a spoiler, so click off now if you don't want to hear it. But in the Persona 3 Club Book, it's revealed that the moon in the Persona universe is actually the remnants of an outer space object known as a Star Eater colliding with a newly formed Earth. That's right, the moon oh. is an alien. Yeah, and there you have it, 103 Persona Facts. Did you learn anything new? If you did, let me know Holy before shit. we go. Shout out to my patrons. A perk of my Patreon is you get to appear at the end of my scripted videos. And by golly, look at them go. Look at all these supporters. Thank you ever so much for helping me escape poverty. And an ever so special thanks to my world tier supporters. Can't do it without you. One, two, three, Garfield. Karkwa, Shadow Roamers, Hawks, Jeremy A, and Shay Birch. If you want to see what I'm working on next or interact with me directly, check out my Patreon and you can help support the channel directly. That was a good video. Uh, the only thing that I, I, um, it's not that I don't like it, but I have a very hard time processing information when it goes this fast. Um, I really, I really enjoyed like learning the facts because, well, it is something that I, it is a game that I enjoy greatly. And it feels bad to not know all these things, but it also kind of feels nice to feel like I'm catching up with it. Yeah, there was an event supposed to be at the club basketball, but it was canceled because of the Hermit Shadows. Yeah, that one, that one, I know. That one was referenced in the, in the Persona 4 as well. I believe that's fancy and portable when I leveled up a female, it would mean dating. Oh, really? I know with the dudes a lot in P3, I see. Yeah, it's kind of weird that she can't learn things, that she just, that she was just, I don't know, bad at school. Like, how does an AI get bad at school? Not quite AI. Can build something so advanced. Oh, well, yeah, I guess. But she still had the capacity to memorize all these things, I guess. So it's weird that, you know, she would read something or try to study or whatever, but then would forget. Like, how does you know? How does an android actually forget? No, it was a it was a good video. Um, make sure to you know to subscribe to his channel. His name was uh, his name is John Awesome. Uh, so make sure to check out the channel as well. Seems to be doing a lot of persona videos, and uh, this this had a ton of ton of facts. I think I'm actually just gonna watch this video again at some point uh, because I why am I getting a gambling ad? Jesus. Okay. Anyway, um, <laughs> make sure to 
to subscribe to the to the channel for I guess more persona. I think they're doing a lot of persona. Um but now we're gonna play the game.